So you got this Sky Wireless connector and you want to use it with your PC. This is the guide how to do it without a WPS button. First off, before we do anything, we're going to pop in the power connector and then um, pop in the Ethernet connector and then plug that back into the computer as well. Okay, so after plugging into the Ethernet port, we want to find out what, what IP address we got on the Ethernet port. Um, do you want to open the command prompt in Windows and type in ipconfig? With that, you will then see the IP address that we've been given by the Sky Wireless Connector. You probably could skip this test, but if you want to be 100% sure to know what kind of address is broadcasting on, because um, this little device running a DHCP server, so if you want to you open up Wireshark, and I've just captured one little snippet of uh, a DHCP discover packet, and if you want to see uh, the actual name of the because what we want is the IP address of the little box. If you go into bootstrap protocol and you go down and go into option 12 host name, you can see it says host name Sky Wireless Connector. You probably can just skip this step and just go to the next step. Um, this is how I found it and this is how you can find the uh, IP address because it looks like the IP address are different on different boxes so you can't just use the same IP address but yeah that's how you find that okay now with that information we want to use the address we want to go http colon whack whack sky wireless connector enter and boom we're in the actual login page and they are hard coded for admin and sky and when you logged in you get to this uh, nice little um, web page you can just press uh, wireless and okay press wireless and it will search for your uh, Wi-Fi and when you find the one you want you can just click on it enter your password and connect You should get a normal IP address now from your normal DHCP server or your router because before you had a 169 address uh, you will get a, probably a 192.168 address. You can check that again in the command prompt. You do that in a second. To check we got the new IP address we put in ipconfig again and you can see we haven't got the new address we're still on the old one the easiest way to do this is to unplug the ethernet port so let me do that now okay i ended up actually uh, rebooting the device and waiting for about five minutes and then if we do ip config again you can see that we got a new ip address on the ethernet adapter with, within the local range and if we do a quick test, bbc.co.uk, and you can see it's working. As you can see now, the wireless is lit up and it's all working. And now you can have some extra use of your Sky Wireless connector. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.